Hi everybody at Sunshine Preschool, it's Miss Jenny from the Busy Bees and today we're going to be doing a science experiment having to do with flowers. You only need a few things for this experiment. You need a bunch of white flowers, these are carnations. You're going to need a few different colors of food coloring. We have red, blue, and green in cups to match. And then you're going to also need a pitcher of water and you're going to also need a pair of scissors. So the experiment is to see if we can get our white flowers to turn green, blue, and red. And the way we're going to do that is by cutting the ends of our flowers off and giving it a nice clean cut vessel for the colored water to flow through. Boys and girls, you know that the water is what feeds the flower, right? So as the water travels up the stem, so is the color. And we're going to see what happens overnight uh, when these flowers are hanging out in the colored water. So first what we're going to do is take our pitcher of water. And of course you can do this at the sink. And I'm going to fill up our cups halfway full with water. Okay. Perfect. We'll move these in a little so everybody can see all of them. And then I'm going to take our food coloring and I'm going to throw in a ton. A little bit more. So I'm doing about 20 drops of food coloring, which if you work with food coloring or you're a baker, you know that that's a lot of drops. But we want to make sure that we get a really uh, distinct difference in the color of the flower and so that's why we're putting so much in so we'll do 20 3 4 5 6 okay and that's about 20 and then we're gonna do the really pretty green what color are you most excited to see guys I think the blue looks really pretty to me. I'm excited to see the blue and what that looks like when we're finished. Okay. So let's take some of these guys and we're going to cut them and stick them in. Okay. We already cut that one. We'll cut this one. Maybe we'll do one more stem per color, just for fun. Make sure the surface you're working on is covered up or you don't care if it gets food coloring on it because if it does, it's probably not going to come out. Alright, here we go. Since we're working with flowers, Here's hoping that all you mamas and grandmas um, and aunties out there have had a really good Mother's Day. I'll post this Mother's Day evening, but hopefully you can watch it the week after. But thank you for all you do. I'm wearing my Wonder Woman shirt in honor of all of you. So now what we're going to do is basically wait and see what happens to these flowers and how long it takes for them to turn color. So stay tuned and I'll be back with you in just a second and I will give you an update on that. Hi everybody, I just wanted to give you an update. It's been, I don't know, about an hour and a half. That's it and these guys are already showing signs of different colors. Here you can see there's some pink, pinkish red starting to show up. And then we're moving on here to the blue. And I look down and look at that. It's starting to show up all over this flower. How amazing is that, you guys? This goes so fast. And on this little guy right here, there's a tiny little bit of green. Let's see if anybody else has any green yet. Oh, this one does. Can you see it right there on the tip? All right, I'll check in later. We'll see what these look like. Good morning, everybody. 
Look at our beautiful flowers here. We're going to see which colors made their way up the white flowers better than any others. It's been about, <clears throat> I would say, 40 hours in the cups. So about a day and a half. And let's see what we've got. On our red, it's not so much in the flower. There's a little, you can see the pink. A lot of it is really along the leaves and up the stem. If you look at where the stems come together, you can see where the color is. It's pretty neat. And then we'll move to the blue, which actually did quite well. Look at this one. really really fun it almost looks kind of like tie-dye look at that this is a really fun experiment it doesn't take long and it's fun to watch kind of what happens and it makes some really really pretty flowers so this one's same it's green so it's more it's harder to see it but there it is a lot where these flowers come together okay so cool all right well i hope you guys do this at home with your moms and dads like i said it doesn't cost a lot of money it doesn't take a lot of uh time but it's really interesting and really fun. I hope you all have a great week and we'll see you next Sunday with a new video.